Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I done this all my eyeshadow and a bold lip for like ice cream van. Why are you ruining my intro? So I done this for like autumn slash fall, depending on where you are and what you call it. So if you like to see how I got this makeup look, then please just keep on watching. Starting off with primer, I'm going to use the Obsession Bacon Primer and as I say in like all of my videos that I use this in. I absolutely love it, but I am putting it on and then going to do my eyeshadow. I've put that right in the end of my nose and it's like dripping down. Um, put this on and then do my eyeshadow so that this really sinks into the skin and it just makes your skin feel really nice. For eyeshadow, I'm using the I Heart Revolution Nudes Palette and Oh, I can't open it now and this is just what the shades look like. I'm going to start off by taking this shade here called After Dark and this brush looks clean enough. I need to clean all of my brushes. Um, I'm just going to use this as like my transition shade and I am doing an all matte eyeshadow look today because I'm feeling feeling an all matte look and I want to do like a very full eyeshadow look as well and I'm going to go in with this shade here called French Girls and I'm going to put this through the crease and I think I might just put this all over the eyelid as well just to like start building it up for when we get to like the darker shade because I really want to use this like deep plummy colour because to me that just seems very autumn-y. Then I'm going to end with this shade here called Bear All and I'm going to put this all over the eyelid to start with and then I'll blend a little bit of it up into the crease area. Just going in with a clean fluffy brush, I'm going to use this just to make sure that everything is all blended together nicely. I'm going to use a flat brush and this one's like really, like, oh there's some eyeshadow on it. Um, it's like really densely packed so it'll really like pack on shades and I'm going to use this with that deep plummy purpley colour, oh my god I couldn't get the words out there, called or natural, EU or natural, I don't know, that's what I'm gonna call it anyway. And I'm just gonna start packing this onto the eyelid. And I'm so glad that I'm doing this first because there is fallout on my face. So I just quickly finished doing the eye just to see how it was going to turn out and I'm just going to go in with that clean fluffy brush and I'm just blending all over the eyelid just to blend that purple out and then I will go in with some more of it to pack it back on to get to like build the colour back up but once you blend it it does kind of blend away but you pack it back on and it's it's there again then back in and blend over it again and if you're struggling to like blend the line out you can go back in with a mixture of this shade and this shade and use that to blend through the crease just to help any lines blend out. Then if you have got any bits that are looking a little bit patchy just go in with more eyeshadow over like these certain bits rather than putting it all over your eye again and having to blend it out. If you just put it over like the bits it makes it look like more whole I want to say but that doesn't seem like the right word. You guys know what I mean. I'm going to go in with the um, L'Oreal Unlimited Mascara and I kind of feel like I've got panda eyes right now, but obviously it'll look better when the rest of um, 
the makeup is done but I'm just gonna go in with this for now. Before I go in my foundation I'm going to use the Revolution Ultra Base Corrector Palette and I'm going to use this under my eye. I'm going to use this kind of peachy shade just to help like cover my dark circles because it takes me ages to fall asleep at night so I don't fall asleep to like 12, 1 o'clock in the morning and George gets up at 7, half 7, 8 o'clock if I'm lucky. So I do have dark circles because I'm tired quite a lot so I just want some help covering them. Then going in with a little bit of the green I'm just going to put this on my nose to cover up the redness. The foundation that I'm using is pretty much like full coverage anyway so you can't really see the redness but just purely because I'm using it. For foundation I'm going to use the CYO Long Lasting Life Proof Foundation. I've got it in the shade C2 and I'm just going to apply this all over my face. I really do like this foundation, like it works really well with my dry skin and it works really well with that baking primer as well so if you do have dry skin then you should try that combination because it has been working really well for my skin for concealer i'm going to use the revolution fast base concealer in the shade c1 and again just putting this where I normally would to highlight my face. I don't really need as much coverage because that foundation does like pretty much cover everything. So this is just purely to highlight because this concealer doesn't really have a lot of coverage. You can build it up slightly but it is still more on the natural side compared to the Conceal and Define concealer from Revolution. I'm just blending this out. I'm going to go in with my finger and lightly blend over the top, like over the edge of where the like concealer and the eyeshadow stops just to help blend them like together so that it's not a harsh line. I don't want this to be a harsh line of like foundation and of like my base makeup and then my eyeshadow. If you know what I mean. To set the concealer in place, I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me um, Matte and Poreless Powder in 105. And I'm just using this to set where I have put the concealer. And that is all I'm going to set. I don't set all of my face anymore. And my skin just looks so much better when I've only set the places that I put the concealer on. I'm just setting the places and this powder does give you like more coverage on like your face as well so if you are using like a not as full coverage concealer like I did then this will give you more coverage as well. I'm going to do the lower lash line next because I, I'm feeling a little bit crazy so I'm going to go back in with this shade called French Girls and I'm going to blend this quite close to the lash line because you guys know I don't like the eyeshadow underneath my eye to be really intense. Then I'm going to go in with a mixture of these two shades and I'm only going to use a small amount because I don't want it to be too intense. Then back in with the mascara, I'm just applying this to my lower lash lines now. So I did quickly just go in with some eyelashes that are from Eyelure. I'm not entirely certain what kind they are. Like I don't know the name or nothing of them but I will leave them linked uh, down below. So I'm going to go in with contour to try and like shape my face because I'm looking very one dimensional right now and I'm going to use the W7 Shape Your Face and I Shape Your Face contouring kit and I'm going to use this cool tone shade to sculpt out my cheeks and make me look a bit 
better. This is a really good contour kit if you... <gasps> okay, I spoke too soon. Um, no, it is. It's a really good contour kit if you are very fair like me. Like, I am extremely, extremely pale. I have put far too much of this on. I'm going to need to sit and blend this out, especially that bit. Why did I do that? So, once I've blended that out, it's still not looking best, but the bronzer will help blend it out as well. And I'm going to use the Kiko bronzer. This is the Gold Waves bronzer. It's in 03 Sienna Reflection. And this is just what it looks like inside. It smells amazing. I don't know what it smells of. I don't know. I can't decide on what it smells, but it does smell... It does smell nice and it is very pigmented as well. So I do tap my brush off when I use this. Should have done that with the contour. I forgot how pigmented the W7 um, contour kit was. Because I just use my Revolution one all the time. So I forgot how pigmented that is. For highlight, I'm going to use the Revolution Pro 4k highlighting palette this is the rose gold one i have not used this in ages so i thought i'd give it a try and i'm gonna mix these two shades together and see how it oh looks then normally when i get like new highlights like my old favorites i end up not liking so much anymore because my new ones are so good, but this is still really good. I need to blend that out. Like, that is far too, like, intense and unblended. Like, you can actually see it on my cheek. That's not, that's not great. So I'm just going to blend this out. I'm just going to go and muff some of this one over the top just to deepen it up a little bit so that you can't see it as much from the front that like never really done anything it just made me more glowy so i've just went in with a little bit more bronzer just to help blend that out a little bit and it is looking better this side looks better than this one it's still really harsh like right here but it's not it's not really blending out so oh that worked actually um, so hopefully when I put my setting spray on that will help diffuse it as well. For setting spray I am going to use the Revolution Hyaluronic Fixing Spray. I was going to wave it at you there. <laughs> Fixing Spray. So I'm just going to spray this all over my face. And pressing that in and hopefully press that highlighter out a bit. I've literally just realised I've not even highlighted my nose or my inner corner. I don't think I'm going to highlight my brow bone today. I think I might just leave it with highlighting my nose. Well, I highlight my nose anyway. Um, highlighting my inner corner. So I'm literally just going in with whatever highlights are left on my brush and highlighting my nose. And oof. So I'm just going in with a mixture of day two highlighters and I'm just highlighting my inner corner. So I just had to stop recording for a little bit there but I went in with the Rimmel Scandal Eyes. This is the 005 nude one on this eye just to see how it looks because I am pre-recording these videos so that if I can't upload them one day I've got some uh, if I can't record on like a couple of days because George doesn't happen. I have a couple of videos so this is number video number four don't know what order i'm going to put them up in but i'm just going to put this in my waterline and i'm just going to use my sponge to like pull my eye down so i don't like take my foundation and everything off with my finger so i'm just going to apply this and because i've like taken my makeup off and put it back on so many times today my eyes are looking a little bit red so this will just like brighten it up make us look a little bit more make our eyes look a little bit wider and 
hide that redness. Lastly for lips, I didn't think the eyeshadow was going to come out this dark, so I was going to go in with a dark lipstick. Now I don't know if I should go in with a nude or not, or just go in with this, because it does go, but should I do a bold eye and a bold lip? I think I will. So this is the Rimmel Stay Matte in the shade Plum This Show. And I need to be very careful when applying this because I am messy when I apply lipstick. So I need to be very careful with this. Look at that colour. That is just so nice. So this is the finished makeup look and the lips didn't come out the colour that I thought it was going to be. Like I thought it was actually going to come out this colour and it's kind of more burgundy than like plummy. I still do kind of like it. I would kind of prefer if it was a nude on my lips to be honest. I just really like nude lipsticks. Um, but it still does look quite nice. It's not completely even because I'm not the best at applying liquid lipstick especially dark shades that is just the worst but if you know a lip liner run about the same color as this then let me know down below so i can get it so that this doesn't happen again so that's it for this video and i hope you guys did enjoy and i will see you in my next one bye guys